At the GBK Rugby Sevens Field, it's men's semi-finals time. The winner goes through to the gold medal match later this evening. And uh, we have Japan to meet Sri Lanka, and that will be followed by Korea versus Hong Kong. The Sri Lankan team come out to prepare. They are in the green, and Japan wearing the mainly blue and white tops. So this men's semi-final, big match for both teams. Coming into the competition, we expected Japan to be strong, and they are. The captain is Dai Ozawa, number six. There is the starting lineup for them. Forwards, Takiri, Tupo, and Sojima. And uh, the substitutes, who uh, will no doubt be used if Japan can get ahead. Both teams will be looking to uh, rest a few players for the final if they can. The Sri Lankan starting lineup is uh, there for you as well. The captain starting from the bench in this match, uh, Muto Tantri. And there he is, the number eight, starting as a substitute. The referee, Matthew Rodden from New Zealand. Japan versus Sri Lanka. And the start of play from the boot of Japan and short of the 10 metre line. So a mistake from the outset by Japan. And the tap taken from the halfway line by Sri Lanka, who have tremendous speed in their lineup. Japan, of course, are an, a very much accomplished in the rugby sevens. A wide passing here from Sri Lanka. And a stepping a run by Malwathafa. Defence moving up quickly on the outside from Japan to stymie the chance of going wide to the left. Penalty Sri Lanka and they quickly take the tap. And it's good step and now he steps or more than steps. He accelerates, really put the pedal to the metal. And that is a great try scored by Thanep Arachilage. He can absolutely fly, so an exceptionally good and very quick start here for Sri Lanka. That is the fifth try of the tournament for Thanip. And what a start. Thanip Achiralake, I should say. But now the conversion attempt and taken by uh, Rankoth Gadara. Rankoth Gadara himself has scored six tries and four conversions in the tournament so far. 38 points, which puts him fourth highest scorer, but uh, missing that conversion. 5-0 in favour of Sri Lanka. Japan in possession from the restart of play and a little bit of momentum down the right edge for them with Lottie Takiri. Surging forward but using the width, using the space. Sajima goes to them. The dummy and the break made again. Here's Japan sprinting away, and it's Hashino, Kosuke Hashino scores for Japan. The quick reply makes it 5-all with the conversion to come. After three minutes of play, two tries, one try each. And there was just individual brilliance here. As he showed the ball to the outside, the defender just came up a fraction too far, created the hole, and uh, Hashino dashed through it. The 
there is the try scorer Sakai has uh, kicked a number of conversions but he misses this one Sakai Katsuki 22 conversions he is the number one point scorer in the rugby sevens at the Asian Games 2018 number one scorer for all teams 22 conversions and a couple of tries to add to that so five all and we've had four minutes of play powerful rucking here by Japan rolling forward to come back and take the tap at the mark. That brought a little bit of a time for Sri Lanka and now the ball is lost. Uh, Japan in good position but falling into error. Substitution already for uh, Sri Lanka. So the substitution, uh, Muthu Tantri in and Vithana Gamaj out from the scrum. Good combination here of players for Sri Lanka who are quick off the mark and then players who can really run a distance. So the smaller players with a quick acceleration can make inroads, if not make a break, knowing that they'll have support outside. Third, uh, this is in fact the sixth time at the Asian Games for the men's rugby sevens tournament. Began in 1998 in Bangkok. And the Japan team were champions at each of the three previous Asian Games. Sri Lanka finding touch. And a good touch finder using the breeze which is behind them in this first half. Minshon in 2014, Japan didn't concede a single point. Well, this time around, they've uh, been strong again. But Sri Lanka testing them here, going wide. Try scorer, Thanep gets the pass away. And coming back inside is Wijikun. Now swinging it to the left. They've got the overlap, but he breaks the tackle and still going. He'll go all the way. That is a strong try from Muthu Thantri, the captain who was substituted into the game after just a couple of minutes and good decision it was, oh, what a lovely pick up oh, that was by Chandra Das but then look at the strength here very robust running from uh, Muthu Thantri and a powerful try 10-0 and the kick to come And it goes wide. So no conversion for any of the tries so far. Rangoth Gadara missing on that occasion. Sri Lanka ahead 10-5. We've only got a couple of seconds remaining in the first half. And Chandra Das giving chase here after the kick, but it's taken by Japan. And Takiri takes the tackle. Came up loosely, but it's play on. It's advantage, Japan. And it's one on one down the touchline. The tackle's made. A good tackle by Widji Kuhn. He got across to uh, cover Motor Marura. Yeah. Over committing to the tackle, and Sakai makes a break down the left. He's got numbers here. Japan away with Tupo. Turning it back on the inside. This is going to be another try and it's going to be Japan just before we complete the first half. And a good try by Sakai Katsuki. The number one point scorer in the competition. He started it with a very good pass early and he backs up down the middle 
there to receive the pass. Great support play from Katsuyuki Sakai. So 10 all and a chance to go ahead with the conversion here. And it's a good kick. A good conversion. Converts his own try. So 10, I should say 12 points to 5 in favour of Japan at half time. Make that uh, 12, uh, 10 I should say, 12, 10. Let's get that right. Japan 12, Sri Lanka 10. The conversion is the difference. Two tries apiece and the first try scored by the flyer, Tanip Arachilaje. Good individual try by Kasuki Hashino. Bouncing back and levelled it at 5 all. And then this powerful run, big fend and Mututhantri powers over and then we saw a Sakai back up down the middle to score the last try and convert for 12-10 in favour of Japan. Two tries apiece and that one conversion by Sakai has made the difference. Frankov Gadara missing with two conversion attempts for Sri Lanka. Admittedly, the one that Sakai converted was right in front. The coach of the Japanese team, Kensuke Iwabuchi. And the coach for Sri Lanka is Peter Wood of New Zealand. Only two points in it at half time. The competition as it's unfolded here, once it got to the quarterfinals, Japan were too good for Chinese Taipei, 43 nil, and uh, Sri Lanka were too good for China, 17 to 12. So China eliminated in the quarterfinals from uh, gold medal contention. It was always expected that Japan, Hong Kong and Korea would be strong and Sri Lanka who are going ahead in leaps and bounds in international competition as well and here at the Asian Games proving it by making the semi-finals. This kickoff from the Sri Lanka driving Japan right back to their own goalposts and nice pass Sakai knows where the space is he gets it out wide Excellent tackle made for Sri Lanka by Rangoth Gerara. Japan now right to left. And feed it back. But it's a penalty to Japan. Interference there by Sri Lanka after the tackle was made. Japan are going to find touch. We saw Sri Lanka also use the breeze in the first half to find touch. And now a line out with Japan having the throw in. Shino with the throw in from the touch line. And the throw not in straight. And that is a huge mistake to make. It's such an advantage there to have possession from 22 metres out. The throw in was good and taken by Tavita Tupo, but uh, it was a little too good. The throw favouring Japan and so it's a, a scrum feed for Sri Lanka passing inside their own 22 need to get players across or they don't want to get isolated but placed back try scorer 
Strong there. Mugathantri got the pass away. Still inside their own 22. Japan moving up in defence. Need to watch the speed, but a good tackle made. Diving across for Japan was Azawa. And a fumble after the penalty. They tried to take it so quickly. They fumbled and gave away possession. Well, that's two mistakes that could prove costly for Japan. One from the line-out. Throw in not straight. And now after the quick penalty tap was taken. Just hurrying it. And uh, Takiri unable to uh, avoid the fumble. Nearly three minutes into the second half. No change in the score. Japan 12, Sri Lanka 10. This would be a huge upset if Sri Lanka were able to uh, beat Japan. As much as Sri Lanka are not to be underestimated, Japan, one of the powerhouses of uh, rugby 15 and 17 aside. And that ball's been pulled out of the hands. Ruled a knock on and Japan have possession. Not releasing. Once you're tackled, you have to release the football. The tackler has to release you. So Sri Lanka, who have been defending from the difficult position, and bringing the ball in attack from inside their 22, managed to escape over the halfway now. Courtesy of that penalty. Plenty of supporters, as you can see, waving the Sri Lankan flags. They're down by two points. And see what they can produce from this attacking position. Wichakun is out. And uh, as we go play on with Sri Lanka here, bustling play from the line out. Strong tackle. It's still. No, it's been lost forward. Well, we saw a powerful tackle there from one of the Japanese players come in. Chandra Das, I think it was, was on the end of it. Nani Yakara on the field for Japan, the number 11. They've also got uh, Chakawatha Jia on. A number of substitutions made by Sri Lanka. And this is a good run for them by Radwate. And then that big hit came in and uh, driving Chandra Das back. And the ball came loose and went forward. Japan at their own end of the field, leading by 12-10 with two minutes to remaining. And a good tackle there from Nani Yakara with fresh legs. Still only 10 metres out from their own line. That pass is OK. And it's play on with Japan. Plenty of defenders across. Loose ball from the breakdown. But it's a penalty. Not rolling away against Sri Lanka. Once the tackle's made, you have to move away. Ashino finds touch. Japan can control the game from here if they're good enough. Two tries apiece. The conversion kick. The difference so far, Sakai converting his own try from right in front. And the line out goes the other way. Japan had the uh, throw in. Sri Lanka won the line out with the tap back. Oh, and kicking early for the winger. Here's a sprint. This is desperate stuff. The ball's on the ground. Sri Lanka have got it. That was knocked back. Play on. What's the referee hearing from his touch judge here? I thought it was play on. It's a timeout. He's going to talk to the touch judge about this decision. He ruled, I believe, knock on. Well, he seems to be telling Sri Lanka it was knocked on. I didn't see it that way. I see a replay. It was a scramble as the kick ahead. 
and Sri Lanka with one player chasing through. Japan had two defenders there, but I thought that it was knocked, well, lost by Japan and then knocked back by Sri Lanka, and they obviously felt that as well. But the referee and the touch judge thought otherwise, and ruling presumably offside against Sri Lanka because the penalty to Japan takes them 30 metres out. Need a good throw in now to the front of the line out. Well, uh, another poor throw in. Certainly a line out infringement. Sri Lanka. The siren is gone. They're down by two, but the ball is. Oh, this is a waste, an absolute waste of the last opportunity of the game here for Sri Lanka. They had one last shot and blew it, and they've given it everything they could, and that's the frustration. One last chance, and they couldn't take it. Japan, 12, Sri Lanka, 10. Japan win the semi-final and go through to the gold medal match. No points in the second half. 12-10 was the half-time score, two tries apiece. The conversion from right in front by Sakai in the end made the difference. And congratulations to Japan. They have the chance to be champions for the fourth Asian Games in a row. Some of the highlights. This is from earlier in the game. First half highlight where Thanip Arachi Chilagale raced away. Hashino dashed through. Kosuke Hashino scoring for Japan. Both of those tries out relatively out wide and the conversions missed. This powerful run from Muda Thantri, the big fend, and forces his way over. Sakai through the pass to get the moving down the left. Tupo gets it away again. Sakai keeps following, and there he is again. Sakai backs up and uh, takes the final pass for the try. He converted that try, and that was the difference. So Japan go through to the final. Sri Lanka will compete for the bronze medal. And the next semi-final is the Republic of Korea versus Hong Kong.